what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is Eko Simpson I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana okay. hi brothers and sisters this is Anthony Boydi I'm a tour guide here at, here at Cape Coast Slave Castle and uh, as you can see for yourselves what is happening here is very massive we had a massive influx of, of our brothers and sisters from the diaspora to Cape Coast Slave Castle and as you can see for yourselves there is the African Diaspora Development Institute here at Cape Coast Slave Castle. If you are not here, you are missing on a lot. Please come here, let's all reconnect with our ancestral heritages. Thank you very much. See you this December, Ghana, 2021. Thank you very much. The choice that we made to come here, but guess what? It wasn't our choice. You were chosen. A whole lot of people want to be here. A whole lot of people got the money. A whole lot of people had the intention. But to be in this number, you have to be chosen. I, I want to point out a couple of things. The size of your group, you can see the people out here, there's only a portion of the people that actually came on the buses. Uh -huh. So within a couple of hours, maybe less than an hour, the group has already become smaller because of circumstances. But here's what I'd like to point out to you. Everything that Rabbi has said is absolutely true. I'm 78. My senior brothers just told me he's 81. And I want you to understand, and I may get in trouble for saying this, but I don't really care. Not me, never. Okay. I've asked the young people to stand here with me to impress upon each of us as adults. Make a solemn oath to yourself that when you go back through this door, you will realize that these events are not about us. They're about the great, great grandchildren of the children that are standing here. There's no future that shapes itself. The future is shaped by what we do today and tomorrow. So we can put it out of our minds, put our egos aside, and recognize that we are the servants of the generations that have yet to be born. And these young people will be our agents if we do our job. Otherwise, we're just talking and there's no future. Just stop talking about it. So unless we do something different and recognize that this is about the great-grandchildren of the children standing here. It's not even about them. It's about future generations. They're the best hope we have yes. that those future generations are going to be anything. Nana and I are not going to live forever. And neither is anybody else standing here. <laughs> so if we don't put our focus on what needs to be done by us to lay the groundwork for the young people to continue developing those things, we are just talking and we might as well just go home and watch reruns or Netflix episodes or whatever we want. So that's my story to you. I will work. I'm, pro I'm promising you guys. I'm going to work to see to it as best I can. And so is Rabbi. And so is Nana. To see that you have a future that is free of all of these things that we're talking about right now. And so as long as I'm alive, if you know I'm still alive, and somebody told you I'm still alive, you know I'm working for you. That's a problem. Ashe. So once again, our Nana Nome, Bosa Baremba, Nana Pra, Papa Jesse, he will lead us to right hand, right hand, I have returned. Right hand. And also... You see the work that was being done here with the sea. That's part of the climate change and the erosion that's happening with the sea. And they're doing this project to protect the edifice against the sea erosion. That's part of what you see with these building up here, these cranes around here. Yes. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. I have returned. 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 I have returned.
Check on the person next to you, make sure they're doing okay. Thank you. It's hot here. I have returned. Put me there back. I have returned. Back home. I have returned. Back home. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. Yes. Those are rocks and chase the colonizer spirit out of the continent and believe that it can work. You know, one of the greatest stories in the Bible about uneven odds was David taking a slingshot and a stone and slaying Goliath. And this is like a battle of David and Goliath. We ain't got the slingshot, but we got the stone. So we can throw these stones and make our arms a slingshot. So it's across these waters. These cannons are facing this sea because this is where they used to hold off other competitors who wanted to come and take control of the territory, not to abolish slavery, but to continue it in their own interest. So these cannons are facing this sea. They got different sizes. Those cannonballs that can go out there for 50 meters, some longer ones go out there for 100 meters, and some for 150 meters, depending on the size of those cannons. These are original cannons. And these are original cannonballs. From those days, haven't been preserved. Time has taken its toll. But today, all of this evening has been symbolism. And rituals are very important. And our ancestors, they knew the importance of ritual. So everybody, you take these stones. Before you cast it, if you haven't cast it already, you talk to them in your hand. Talk to these stones. And then you cast them. And when you cast them, you can turn your back and we can take our way back out of here. Talk to them in your hand and then catch your stones. Yeah.